Hello, all you math maniacs out there in TV land. It's time for another fantastically fanatical episode of Math Homework Helpers. Stick around, we'll be right back. Da -da 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 -da. Welcome to Math Homework Helpers. This is a show where we get to help you with your math homework and give you prizes just for calling in. With us today, we have the totally awesome Miss Hank from Pinewood Elementary and the totally cool Mr. Kara from Dundalk Middle School. Hey, Ollie, you look like you've had even more energy than usual today. <laughs> you know, I think I do. I'm pretty sure it's because of the extra sleep I got for daylight savings this past Sunday. Mm. Hold on a second, Ollie. Everybody lost an hour of sleep this past Sunday because in the spring you moved the clocks ahead by one hour. You know, spring forward, fall back. Wait, 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 what? No, what? no wonder I've been late to all my meetings. I also thought it was more interesting that none of my favorite TV shows were coming on at the right time. Mm. Boy, that explains a lot. Well, at least you made it here on time today, Ollie. Nah, very true, very true. Although, I always like getting to the math homework hideout super early. I never want to miss anything when it comes to the show. I couldn't agree more, Ollie. Speaking of the show, let's go ahead and get things started. Don't forget, boys and girls, that every caller who calls in gets to pick a prize from our Puck to Pick a Prize wall. Mrs. Haight, what are the prizes today? Well, we have a lunch container, a timer, a crazy pen and a keychain. Crazy! That sounds great. So let's sounds get the crazy. Show's <laughs> it does sound crazy. Yeah, the pen. So let's get the show started and go to the phones. The number to call is 410-494-1459. The number again is 410-494-1459. Ali, who is our first caller today? Ah, well, it's funny you should ask, because as you know, people call the show. And also, as you know, that there's like numbers on the screen that yeah. people can dial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, as you know, they sometimes give us their name and their school and all that stuff. And like, what grade they're in? Uh, for example, on the phone now, caller number one is Ava from Franklin Elementary School. Hello. Hi, Hi Ava. Hi, Ava. How are you? Good. Awesome. So are we. Are you energetic? Kind of. <laughs> sounds, uh, sounds like it. Hey, Ava, you got a math problem? Yes. Lay it on us. What, what is one-eighth divided by two? One-eighth divided by two? Yes. So, Ava, what type of strategies is your teacher teaching you now how to solve this? Um, to draw a picture using a number line. Okay, using a number line? Yes. Okay. Number, number line. line. And drawing a picture. And drawing a picture? Or. Or uh, drawing a picture? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. So how about we draw a picture? Okay. Will that work? You know what? That makes great sense based on what she said. Okay. okay. <laughs> so how would what if I draw a rectangle, what would I what would it look like? Um so it would be divided into eight parts. Excellent. It's not round. And eight equal parts, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I will try to make them as equal as possible. We are watching. Try your best. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's superhuman. That's pretty good. Well, except for the last Okay. One. We have eight parts. What should I do now? Um divide it into two. Okay. Divide the whole thing into two? Yes. Okay. Which 
strategy. Look at that fancy dot. Like that? Room. That's fancy. Um, no, you would draw a line in the middle of the eight points. Oh. Okay. Ah. So, so you want a horizontal line through it? Yes. Okay. Got it. Is that what you were thinking? Miss yeah. Hay? Yes, I was yeah. thinking horizontal. Thank you, Ollie. I did so much. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we've cut it in half, right? Yes. Because we are dividing by two. So mm -hmm. then how do I figure out what my answer is? You have to shade in one eighth. So what would that be? Chilling in the shade. Let me chill in the what shade. What do you think I should shade? Um, two parts. Good. We ostriches prefer sun, not shade. Okay, <laughs> like that? Yes. Okay, so what's our answer? Two sixteenths. How? Well, let's think about this for a second. If we're only shading in, we now have 16 pieces, right? Yeah. So we know our denominator is going to be 16. Yeah. Your show's a good color, by the way. Purple looks great on I you. Like I like this mean, color. Yeah. And okay. me. <laughs> so if I would have shaded that in before, but I still now... She's doing great, though. Isn't I know. She? She's doing great. She's doing fabulous. Yeah. I'm going to fix this. <laughs> we didn't see a thing. Because we're only shading in one of those. One oh. of the pieces, so it's 1 16th. Yeah. Right. So, if, so if, if you think about it, if you would have colored it in the 1 8th, when you cut it in half, it would have made 2 16 yeah. so only half of the 8th yeah. is the 16th. Right. Does that make uh, sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, because we have to take half of that eighth. Okay. Okay. Did that help you? Yeah. So one, one eighth divided by two is? One sixteenth. One sixteenth. Because two sixteenths equals one eighth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got it. Wait, hey, guess what it's time for? Wait, what is it time for? The puck to pick the a prize wheel. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ava, you ready? Are you ready, Ava? Yeah. Okay, tell right. me when to stop. Here we're we all go. stopping for you. Ready, go. Oh, man, here it comes. Oh, Ava, four you get the four-color pen. Yay. Yay, <laughs> you can use that to draw your pictures. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ava, you know what? A four-color a four -color pen is one color better then a three-color pen. Think about it. Absolutely. Think and one less it. than a five-color pen, though, Think Ollie. Think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Thanks for calling. Hey, that was fun. Bye, Ava. Bye, Ava. All right, you guys ready for another caller? Yeah. Okay, this is Mamie from Wellwood International. Hi, Mamie. Hi. How Hello. are you? How are you? Good. All right. All right. You know what? You called the perfect show if <laughs> you have a problem. You have a problem? A math problem? Yes. All right. Okay, let's. Okay, let's, then what you got? We are so let's ready. Let's hear it, baby. Oops. It's Jeremy crazy how ready we are. Water bottle with a $20 bill. I'm sorry, honey. Water say, bottle. Hmm? I missed the beginning. Can you say it again? Say yes. it one more time. Jeremy bought nine water bottles with a $20 bill. Each water bottle costs $2. How much change should Jeremy receive? Write an equation to match the problem. Use the letter C to stand for the missing number. The letter C? Yeah. Okay. Did you get yeah. all that? I, 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 is that Mamie? <laughs> it is Mamie. Oh, Mamie's yeah. got money over Wellwood. How you doing, Mamie? Good. Did you get my picture? Yes. Woo! I got your picture. It was so cool. What? What'd you, what's oh, this picture? Oh, it was a long story, but she's like one of my biggest buddies. And Miss awesome. O'Neill said hi. What's that? What? Miss O'Neill said hi. Oh, tell Miss O'Neill I said hi too. She's one of my biggest pals. Tell her I said hi, even though I don't know her. Hey, Ali, not to take huh? up time. I know you guys are busy out here, yeah. but uh, are we still doing that Irish jig dance party at, uh, later on today? Oh, yeah, let's show them. Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. it. It's great. <laughs> See, Patrick's coming up, guys. 
We it don't know is. what time the party is. We'll yeah. see you there. All right, I think the party's a little later. I'll be back. Okay, okay see you. Right, guys, okay, keep practicing your Thank dance. Thank you, Mamie. Good seeing you again. Bye bye, mm -hmm. Max. <laughs> okay, Mamie. So we have nine water bottles. We have a twenty dollar bill, and they were two dollars each. Yes. Okay, and what are we solving for? I missed Whoa. that end piece. Whoa, that guy's out there. You're, we're just writing an equation, right, Mamie? Yes. To show how we would solve it, and C is our variable. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so she wanted to know how much change she got. Or you want to know how much change, right? Well, it's over there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So oh, C okay. is the change. Problem. C is the change. Okay. That's what I'm I was. I'm over here. Okay. All right. So, Mamie, what what strategy would you normally use? What no, have you been no, taught? No, no, no. No, no. Where would you begin? Sorry. Multiplication. Multiplication. Good. Okay. So let's solve. If we need to know how much change, we need to know how much we spent, right? Yeah. So how would we solve that? We'd say we have nine water bottles, right? Yes. And they were each $2. Yeah. So we have nine groups of two, really. Yes. And so what is nine times two? Uh, two groups of 18. nine. Eighteen. Oh, that's good. She's quick. All right. 18. So she spent $18 in all, right? Yes. So if she had $20 and she spent 18 of it, C is going to equal your change, right? Yes. So how much is C? What is 20 minus 18? Um. Uh, you got this. You can count down from 18. This. Two? 18. What is 20 minus 18? Uh, 18. Count, start at 18 and count up to 20. Um. 18, 19. Count up 18, 19. 20. If this was a, if we would have 18 and then 19 and 20, and you made two jumps, yes. so that's two. So the difference between 20 and 18 is two. Uh, two, right? Two dollars. Two. Yeah. So yeah. two equals C. So your change is two dollars. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Man, you know what? $18 for water? That better be some seriously good water. Maybe really? it was like that's extra right. large. Maybe Hello? It was that stuff comes out of the bottles. faucet for free. Sorry. Give it, is, is, did that answer your question, Mamie? Yes. Okay. You know right. what it's time for, Mamie? Yes. All, All right. right. Yeah. The puck to pick a prize. Ball. Right Tell me when to stop, Mamie. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Here we go. Where is it? You got the timer. Oh, oh yeah. man. Now you can time yourself and see how long it takes you to answer a question. Hey, you know what time it is? Math time. Thanks for calling. Yeah, she's got a timer. It'll tell her when math time is. You, yeah. know, what you, you know what else she could use it for? Huh? Brushing her teeth. No, it's two Wait, minutes. Wait, that That's seems what painful. She should do it for. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? And what do you do? Put the toothpaste on the timer? That sounds like a bad idea. Hmm, why don't you try it first, Dolly? Well, how would you? Whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are you guys ready for another caller? Sure. We are. are. Okay. On the phone now is Michael from Pot Spring <laughs> Elementary. Hello. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hello. How you doing, Michael? Good. All right. Hey, you know what we're ready to do? Your math uh, problem. What you got? Yeah. Okay, we're all set. All right, the problem is um, one half. One tenth plus one half plus one tenth plus one fifth. Okay, one half plus one tenth plus one fifth. Okay. A lot of pluses. There's a lot of pluses to do math. A lot of pluses. A lot of pluses. Yeah. Yeah. So have they told? Has your teacher taught you how to start setting up for this problem? Um, making the denominator the same. Yes, you have to find the common denominator. Excellent. So when I'm doing addition problems like this with fractions, I like to actually set them up vertically. Yeah, that's what I like so to do. So one ha is that how you like to set them up too? Yeah. Ah, that is very smart. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So That's the we aliens have to find talking. a common denominator. You hear early, I, I hear aliens too. That's the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> they want some cupcakes. Can you do, turn, turn, turn down your, your TV? Yeah. yeah, sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. We don't have cupcakes to give them, so, you know. 
All right, so do you know what the common denominator is already by looking at your two, your five, and your ten? Um, ten. Excellent. It's going to be ten. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and set up all our denominators. Now, this one's already ten, so I don't have to do anything to the numerator, right? Nope. Yeah. Yep. Correct. Nope. So that's yep. going to stay one-tenth. Now, what did I do to the two? What operation to get to ten? I think you multiply the how many times you multiply to get 10? Excellent. So how many times did I multiply 2 to get 10? 5. 5. Very five. good. So whatever I do to the bottom, I also have to do to the top. So 2 yeah. times 5 is 10. Excellent. And 1 times 5 is? Um, 5. 5. Perfect. So what did I do to the 5 to get to 10? Yeah. What did I multiply by? What did you say? I can use <laughs> what did I multiply the 5 by to I get think to you 10? might need to turn down his siblings. <laughs> oh, hi, me. <laughs> I look cute. Are you having a party over there? And we no. weren't invited? Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that the St. Patty's Day dance party Max and I are going to? Oh, oh it might be. Oh, it might man. Be. He got started early. <laughs> All right, so 5 times 2 equals 10. What you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So 1 times 2 equals 2. two. So now I have all the same denominator. What do I do to find my answer? Um, add them all together. Okay, so it, what's 5 plus 2? 7. Plus 1? 8. 8? Right. And then do I add 10, 20, 30? Nope. Yep. No. Nope. nope. Yep. I, what do I do with nope. that denominator? Keep it the same. I keep it the same. Man, Excellent. this kid has got it down. He He's does. good, right? So I have another question. Would your teacher tell you to keep your answer as 8 tenths, or would she ask you to simplify it or put it in lowest terms? Simplify it. Yes. Okay. Simplify. How do I do that? You know, you, you um, can get rid of a lot of stuff. Sometimes that helps. Just yeah, get rid of to stuff. Simplify. Yeah, that's good. We really right simplify. Right. Okay, what can we get rid of? What can we do? Well, you okay. know, like if you've got extra furniture you're not using, or pots and pans. Live a simple life. That's what I always say. Yeah. Simplify. Yeah, sounds like a plan. How are we going to yeah. simplify this fraction? We have to um, find what they can both be divided by. Yes. So we're finding the greatest common factor or the GCF. What is the greatest yeah. common factor that goes into both 8 and 10? Um, 2. 2. So 8 divided by 2 is? Um, 4. 4. 4. And 10 divided by 2 is? Five. 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 So our Jeez, answer fast. in lowest terms or simplified is four fifths. There it is. Four fifths. Does you that right? help? Got yeah, it, Michael? Yeah, I got it now. Right. That was a lot of steps. That was yeah, a lot of you steps. You did a great job. Uh-huh. But you know what it's time for? What? Well, well funny you should <laughs> ask. It's time for the puck to win a prize wall. Yay. All right, Yay. Michael, you ready? Here All we right, go. Miss Hank, get something good. Okay, Ollie, you tell me when. Ah, uh, wait, what? Oh, win, sorry. Uh huh. Here it comes. We have another, another four color pen. pen. All right. Is that Congratulations, good? Michael. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. Man, that Michael's really fast. He was fast. Did you notice? You asked him a problem, he's like, four, five. Oh, yeah, he 31. got it. He knew it. Volkswagen. He's going <laughs> to take cookie. our job. He is. Huh? And have a party without yeah, us. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. right. Do you guys ready? Do we have another caller? Oh, man, you kidding me? Yeah. They're lining up waiting to get in here. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Well, on the phone now, we have Xavier from Norwood Elementary. Hi, Xavier. Hi, Xavier. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, my question is number two. What? Uh, question, we, you, you know what? We usually have the paper from your teacher, but I think she might have forgot to send it in yeah. today. Yeah, so can you read it to us and we'll help you out? Xavier brought three hats of energy bars. The total cost was $3. Whoa, whoa. whoa Xavier, okay. your voice is really... That's three awesome. packs of energy bars. Energy. Three packs of energy bars. The total cost was three dollars. Which equation? Okay, slow down. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> there was three yeah. packs. What? No, just write faster. Come on. He Keep bought up. three packs of energy bars, and the total cost was three dollars. 
Guys, which equation shows the total? Okay, oh. can you give me the equations? There's 3 plus 3 equals T, and there's 3 times 3 equals T, and there's 3 divided by 3. So the first one is A, the second one is B, the first one is C, and D is 3 divided by 4. Wow, three packs for three dollars. Where do you get these energy bars? Wow. You know, they're cheaper than the water, right? Yeah. 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 Right? <laughs> you can eat more than you can drink. That's no. right. Okay. So Thank Xavier, you. um, what are you thinking? Where 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 would what would you do to solve this? Um I use paper. Okay, you use paper and what would you put on the paper? Which which equation did you use? What operation do you I, think you would do? I use D, but I don't know if there's a correct one. You use D? I don't know if there's a correct one. Okay, well, well, let's think. If we have three packs, so let's make three packs. Okay? Yeah. And were they $3 each, or were they $3 total? $3 total. 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 $3 total. Okay. So let's think. You know what? The quality may not be great on this bars. Three bucks? I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, really. I'm just so, saying, think twice. So he bought three Shop things, around. and they were $3 in all. So would you multiply three times three? Are there three groups of three? There would be three groups of three. What? Three times three. Okay, but are, are there three groups? Are you making three groups of three? Are you multiplying to find this? Yes. I, I don't think we could. I think we should take that $3 and we should try to split it into the three different packs. Oh. And see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So are we going to multiply? For going, Duh. So, Xavier, if Duh. we're going to split, are we going to multiply? No. Multiply. No, so we're not going to multiply. So we can get rid of D, because that just doesn't make sense, because that's going to make it that's larger. Me. But if we were going to break up the three, if we were going to split it and say one, two, three, what operation did we just do if we split it? We put them into groups. We split it. Okay, and what operation tells you to do that? Is it, are you, did we just add, or did we break it apart? We add. We didn't add, we broke we it apart. We broke it apart. We broke it okay. apart. Right. So if we didn't add, we didn't add. Then no. we, then we right. have to get rid of that. So there's only two to choose from. A. And if we have three C packs, if we have three packs of C and B. Okay, just C and D we can choose from. Now, what makes sense? Where would a four come from? Sure. Where would Is there a four in the problem? Is there a four in the problem? Wait. No. No four. So that wouldn't even okay. make sense anyway. So your yeah, only okay. answer is three divided okay. into three groups, which would equal how much? How much was in the equal it was in each group? Wait, is he buying olives? Those look like olives. What? How much there was one. There was one. So each pack cost one dollar. So this C is the one you would use to solve it. Yep. Hey, let us okay, know if those Xavier. bars are any good. Pick the prize ball. Huh? Puck to pick a prize ball. Uh, 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 We're uh, ready uh, for you. Know, All right, here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Stop. Oh, Whoa. another pen. Wow, Xavier, you got the pen fourth color pen. Yay. Yay. Lucky dog. All right. Thanks One for calling. Call. Thanks okay. for calling. Okay, bye. 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 Let us know if the energy bars are any good. Okay. I mean, three bucks, you know, it could go either way. Well, a dollar, either way. a dollar a piece. I right. mean, come on. Are we talking Sam's Club? Like what? That's yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Do we have another caller? Huh? Caller? What? Caller. <laughs> Call who? Yeah. <laughs> oh, call. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I was thinking about energy bars. I'm kind of hungry. Okay. On the phone now, we have Iman from Norwood Elementary. Hello. Hi, Iman. Hi, Iman. 
Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, wonderful. It's so good to talk to you again. You got a math problem? Yes. All right. We are ready, kid. What you got? Mom is using Add 3 as her rule to make a pattern. She started with 4 and wrote at the numbers below for her pattern. Which number does not belong in Iman's pattern? 4, 7, 10, 12, 13, 16. Okay, 4, 7, 10. No, right fast, right fast. 13, 16? Yep. 12, 13, 16. 12, right. 13. That's what 4, I said. 7, 10, 12, 13, 16? Yeah. Okay. And you want to know which number does not belong in the pattern? Yes. Okay. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what type of pattern we're looking at. Do you notice anything familiar about the numbers? It's They're numbers. Like skip counting. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about these first two. What are they skip counting by? Um, four and seven. Yeah, so how many jumps did the four make to get to seven? Uh, about one. Hmm. One? Well, it's, so how... So let's count up. So what comes after four? Eight. If you were going to count from four up until seven, what would come after four? Oh, wait. They're thinking counting by fours. Four, eight. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. So we're going to okay. count by ones. Yeah, we she said one, right? Yeah. One, yes. four we plus wanna, four. Exactly. We want to yeah. see how many ones, how many ones? it takes to right. get to seven. Right. Because we four. can't be counting by fours because it would be four, then eight. Right. Right. So it's not fours. So we want to find the difference between four and seven. So can you help me count? I can. You still there, sweetie? Let's take over. Let's Come on, here we go. Four. We're start. Okay, yeah, Ollie, count for me. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ready. Four, five, six. Okay, hang on. Seven, eight. All right, stop. Nine, Whoa. Ten. <laughs> uh, wait, what? You said count. Yes. Okay. okay stop there. Uh, How uh, many jumps uh. from four to seven? One, two, three. three. I'm just gonna write a three uh, down there so uh, I don't forget. Uh, that's okay. my count impression. And if it's a pattern, okay. it's three times in a row at least. Yeah. So let's see if that continues. So let's go with seven. What comes after seven? Eight. Ollie. Eight, Ollie. Nine. nine ten. Okay. Awesome. Eleven. Whoa, 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 whoa. Twelve. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, stop. So again, Sorry. we have three jumps. Oh, man, we're on a roll. Okay, so we're at 10. We need to get to 12. Ollie, we're going to stop at 12. Okay, ready? All right, ready. Okay, 12, go. 13. <laughs> wait, did you say start or stop at 12? Stop at 12. Oh, okay. T wait, what number do I start on? 10. 10. Okay, 10, 11, 12, okay. 13, <laughs> 14. Wait, what? So we're good. How many jumps are from 10 to 12? Uh, One, two. Right. Wait a second. Huh. Uh-oh. Something looks wrong to uh -oh. me. Yeah, I thought we were counting by threes. Did you count wrong, Ollie? You know what? I might have Max taught me. <laughs> so who oh. knows with that guy? If oh, 12 Max. wasn't there, would, would the pattern continue? Would it be three? I think so. Let's try. If we went one, from 12 to 13, that's one more jump. That would be three. Oh. And just to make sure that 12 is the one that we want to get rid of, Let's count from 13 to 16. Ready, Ollie? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. 13, 14, One, 15. 15. Wait. Wait. St oh, start on 13. Sorry. 13, 14, 15, 16, <gasps> oh, 17, oh, perfect. 18. Oh, Ollie. Get rid Wait. of 17. Wait, what? That's perfect. So I know. All of them you know, three my jumps. mom told me that all the time. So then what did not belong? So perfect. Oh. Huh? What didn't belong, Ollie? Well, sometimes I get kicked out of places. Yeah, and you get kicked out of this one, too. You'd yeah. be 12. You're getting kicked out with 12. Uh-oh. Yep. yep. So bye 12, 12 bye does not belong in this pattern. This is not good. Did we help you out? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Right. Would you like to pick a prize? Uh, yeah. All right. Definitely. Well, let the puck pick it. Ready, Ollie? Tell me okay. when. Okay. On your mark. Get set, tomatoes. Wait. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, the lucky container. Oh. Container. Wow, that's 
serious business. Not, and it's partitioned in everything. I'm going to put energy bars in that. Wait, what's it partitioning for? <laughs> like, um, do I have to sign this partition? <laughs> you, do, <laughs> you, do, you do not have to sign a partition Are today. you going to sign the partition? I might. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for calling. Bye. I think they're long gone. Yeah, long gone. like, I'm so out of here. Oh, you know what? We use math so many ways in life, not just in math class. Mm -mm. So let's head out to the streets of BCPS to see who Maria is talking to now. Math on the street. Hola, yo soy Maria, and I love math. Here at BCPS, we use math every day, everywhere, and in every office and school. Come with me, I'll show you how. Today, I'm here at Warren Elementary in La Infant Maria, which is the nurse's suite with Mrs. Melito. Hola, Mrs. Melito. Hola, Maria. Can you tell me how you use math as a nurse? Sure, I use math all day long in the health suite. When kids are sick, they come to visit me. First, I have to take their vital signs. I have to read my thermometer measuring their body temperature. I have to count how many times their heart beats in a minute to come up with their heart rate. I have to count how many times they breathe in a minute to come up with their respirations. If I need to give them medication, I have to weigh them and then I have to calculate how many grams of medication they need per pound. For instance, if they weigh 50 pounds, I have to then calculate 50 pounds times the amount of grams I want to give them per pound to come up with the dosage. I also use math to collect data. I fill out a tally sheet at the end of each day to see how many students I saw and what kind of illnesses they had. That way I can look for trends in illnesses and prepare for an outbreak like with the flu or uh, do some preventive measures if I see we're having a lot of injuries at our school. I also use math to stock my health suite, estimating how many ice packs I need based on how many ice packs I used in the days before. I also have to calculate how many supplies I need for my health suite based on how many students I have at my school. As you can see, Maria, I couldn't do my job as a school nurse without math. Wow, well thank you so much for sharing. Sure, thanks for coming. Adios. Adios. Man, that was super fascinating. That you was. had a street, you had math. You had nurse. Nurse. Everything you could ever want in a bit. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, Miss Hake, who's on the phone now? Um, I think we have Georgie. Georgie from Glendon. Is Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Georgie. How you doing? I'm good. Georgie, right. I, I love your name. It makes me happy. Yeah, me yeah. too. Thank you. Georgie. <laughs> hey, Georgie, you got a math problem? Yeah. Okay. I should hope so. Let's hear it. What if they called and they were like, nope. No, I'm having one. Let's just call and talk to Ollie. I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> okay, yeah. Georgie. Sorry. Sorry. Jacob counted 14 ducks at the park. I can do that. He counted twice as many geese. Wait, did he say 14 or 40? Did Jacob count in all? Okay, he, had, he counted 14 ducks and he counted twice as many geese. Yes. Okay. How many did he count in all? Yep. Okay. Yep. What would you do, jo uh, Georgie? I think I would skip count. You would skip count uh, by what? Two. By two. Up until what? Because I think there might be an easier way, and I almost gave it away when I wrote it. You know what's cool? He's counting actual air conditioning ductwork and not the animal. Uh, That's I was awesome. That too. I love yeah. that. Yeah. So he counted twice as many geese, right? Yes. Okay. So I wrote, a, I symboled, I used a symbol, but I wrote two times because that means twice, right? Two times. Right, yeah. Georgie? Okay. So if you have 14 ducks and you have two times as many, you would really just multiply. Maybe okay. they're heating ducks. So what would two groups of 14 be? Um, oh, I, I, I No, see. I was Sorry. making multiple <laughs> jokes about it. Come on, <laughs> put it back. It was great material. I was going to mention I'll, the tape. I'll, I'll explain <laughs> that to you in a minute, boys and yeah, girls. Yeah, we need the tape. All right, so right? what's 14 times 2? You get it, right? 
28. Okay. 28. Okay. All right. So you have 14 ducks quack quack, quack, quack. plus 28 Sticky geese. Tape. So how many do you have in all? So 28 plus 14 more. Maybe 42. we can write 42. Good. So 28 plus 10 is 38, plus 2 is 30, plus 2 more is 32. So 32 foul in all. Wait, I did not, that was not a foul. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> There's a flag on this play. <laughs> uh, w did that answer your question, Georgie? Yes. Okay, and Georgie, just so you know, my husband works with ducks, with air ducks, and that's why I was thinking that. Ah. <laughs> I was not thinking quack quack. So, um, okay, Georgie, what is the time for? Uh, I know. The puck. There it is. What's the time pick? for? Huh? The prizes. Oh, 42. Oh, sorry, that would make sense. Sorry. 42. He was right. Yes. Wait, that's amazing. You just premonised that. You just heard it in your head. Yep, the ducks brought it to me. Oh, the ducks mm -hmm. talked to you. Yep. Quack, quack. Georgie, All right. are we ready to win a prize? I'm ready. Yes. All right, All let's right. go. Here we go. Tell me when to stop. Ready? Stop. And you All got the right. lunch container, too. Way Yay. to go. Yay. You're going to put energy bars in that? He's so excited about containing yeah. his lunch. <laughs> And he might have to sign the partition. Ah, he might. Right. Hey, thanks for calling. Bye, Georgie. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. What a great kid. I need a new thing. All right. You're doing great over there, by Am the I? way. Am I really? Because I don't know how to end. Go to school. Doing. Go to Maybe what? if she Here. went to purple. Oops. I don't know. This is, all, this um, is new to me. I don't know how to use this. Push the button. Push the button. I was trying to get a new thing. Do here. the slider. No. Slide it. Oh, <laughs> I did. I slid it down, but there's no more. Find a button and push How about it. This? Look at that. Oh, there we go. Sorry. No, no you're good. Oh. All right. you? we're right. Do we have another caller? Did you push the button? Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, the button worked. All right. Thank you, Ollie. You know these kids with this new tech. They don't even know what a button is. I okay. Are we ready? <laughs> we're ready. Hello. This is Howie on the phone from Norwood Elementary School. Hi, Hi, Howie. Hi, Howie. How are you? Good. Good. Do you have a math problem for us? Yes, I have one. Excellent. I have one. Okay. Let's hear it. We're ready. Number three. Number three. Miss Linda ate the shaded parts of the pie. But what section of the pie did Miss Linda eat? Okay. So. How so. you're going to have to help us out because normally we have the paper from Norwood here, but I think your teacher might have forgot to send it in tonight. Can you? So I have a pie, right? Yes, oh, yes, I'm yes. pie. Wait, can you share? I'm starving. I know the energy we bars. We didn't get the, the energy pie. bars. Okay, so that lemon pie, Howie. There's my pie. Can you tell lemon. me how many pieces are in the pie? One. Mm. Wait, sorry. It's three. Three? Yes? Yes. Okay. Hey, one for me and two more for me. Excellent. Right. So yeah. there are three pieces in the pie. Can you tell me how many it's are shaded It's a Mercedes in? pie. Sorry. How many are shaded in? Um, three. 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 Th three whole pieces are shaded in? Yes. Okay. So it looks just like this? Yes, yeah, my pie. Howie? Yeah. Does your picture look like ours? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Good. Good. So now what was your question? When about can I the, have pie? the pie? When we can eat it? Yeah. Oh. When is my pie getting here? Mm. Mm. One been eaten. How many pieces have been eaten? One. One piece has been eaten? Oh, okay, so we're, we're okay. removing a piece? So it was all shaded in, and then Ollie ate one of the pieces. Ah, uh, hello, I ate three, right? <laughs> so okay. now we're going to take away one piece of the pie. <laughs> right? So you're saying bye, one bye, out of the three pieces were pie. eaten. One, yes. One was eaten. And do we need to know how many are left? Three. 
Let's figure mm -hmm. out how many were eaten. Let's give them a fraction and then figure out how much yeah. was eaten and what wasn't so eaten. So we have one third because they are all, they're three equal pieces. So one third of the pie was eaten. Thank you, Ollie. So this is also. It was delicious. Hey, it, after this, can we drive what, the Chevy to the levee? What was it? Can we drive the Chevy to the levee after this? Okay. So here is another third and here is another third. And you know what? We're eating those. Yes, they're ours. Yes. Because Ali shared this with us. Right. I'm going to call it key lime. I'm nice that like that. That works for yeah. me. Yeah. So how many pieces are left, Howie? Three. There were well, three in all. There were three in all, mm -hmm. right? And Ali ate one? One. So now mm -hmm. we have one third <laughs> for Mrs. Hick and one third for me. So one so third and one third is? Two thirds. Two thirds. So democratic. Okay. So we have two pieces left, or two thirds of the pie left. Because I'll take a third. That's just great. Is it the party time yet? Oh yeah, oh, Max, almost. Let's go. Ready? Oh, I hit the help thing. Here we go. <laughs> da 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 da. Does that help you out, Howie? Yes. Oh okay. yeah, that's excellent. Right. We're doing math. All right. Yeah. All right. Max, do the fun thing for Howie. All right, yeah. let's do the puck thing for Howie. Okay, ready? All right, Howie. Here we go. <coughs> and we got a timer for Howie. All right. Yay. Nice job, Howie. Thanks for calling in, Howie. Bye. Man, Max is ready to dance. He is. We're going he to is a dance, dance party. machine. Dance. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Do we tell you we're going to a dance party? Oh. Do you guys know? I don't think we were invited. No. No. It's a, it's a puppet. You guys can totally come. Ah, yeah. Yay! Come on, come on. We're St. Patrick's Day, right? Uh, well, pretty much, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay. I mean, it's like we do it all the time, so it's just whatever holiday's closest, right. really. And all it, right. it's just the two of you usually, uh -huh. right? Max and I yeah. are dancing. Everybody's coming! Yeah! Max and I were on the professional dance circuit from 84 to 85. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Okay. We had routines and everything. Nice. Yeah. All right. You guys ready for another caller? We're up. We yeah. are ready. All right. Yeah. Max, you ready? Did you tell him about the ah! dance circuit in 84, 85? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a professional ready. dance. Go ahead, guys. It was a okay. great, it was a great year. Great yeah. year. Good year. All right. Do we have another caller, Ollie? Uh huh. Well, this is this is Henry, our good pal from Cedarmere Elementary. I love Henry. Hello, Henry. Hi, Hi Henry. Henry. Hello. Hi. Hello. Do you have a question, Henry? Um. Yes. Okay. This is not normal, though. Oh this boy. Is definitely okay. not impossible. Uh, let us have it, man. Make it possible, though, please. Okay, so 16, so 16 fourths to the greatest come factor. Say that again. 16 fourths, 16 fourths, four to the greatest common factor. I didn't hear that at all. That's. Well, are that's, you is, saying 16 and four? Yeah, yeah. It's like a fraction, 16 fourths. 16 fourths. Uh, 16 fourths. Yeah, yeah. That's what right. is the greatest common factor between the two of them? Yeah. Between yeah. 16 and 4. Yeah. Oh, oh. okay. Nice. Thank you. Nice. It, takes, it takes a yeah. village. It takes a village. Here we go. Okay. So what's the greatest common factor between 16 and 4? Um, it would be, I think it's like, um, 4 fourths. I don't know. I think it's 4 fourths. Okay. So I yeah I think are you trying to find uh, I don't know you got this I, I, is it just you got it this. might just be written as a fraction so that I think that's fine okay so we can start listing so why do you think it's four Henry um because on the four, because of fourteen I mean because of sixteen divided by four making it Four and on the denominator, or wait, I meant four, four, uh, one. I meant four, one. Okay. So four divided uh, by four, four one. gets you. So uh, 16 divided by four, which equals four, and yes. four divided by four, which equals one. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. All right, so I think you solved it yourself. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean it like help to see if Henry's a smart yeah, like, kid, man. Henry's going another for your job. Another one trying to take our job. Yeah, Miss another Henry's one. Miss going for your job. Yeah, I, I lost Watch it. Out. It's gone. It's you gone. Might be back. 
He might be back there already. I don't know. All right. Well, so okay. it would be four, four over one or four to one. Okay. Oh. All right. So, three, I, one, uh, so it was, three, this is one, what we one. were thinking was that? Three, okay. Yeah. Three, okay. One, I'm sorry, Henry. What was that? Um, three, one hole. So it's four holes. So it would be the same as if you did. Do you know that a fraction bar actually means to divide? Did your teacher ever tell you that? Um, yeah. Okay. okay. So if you went to divide, then 16 divided by 4 is, is four. Four. 4. And then that's what we end up with because we know that that is just 4 Any whole first, number over 1 yeah. is. Yes. Okay. Uh, Hi. Hi, Holly. Okay. Did that help you out? Oh, fire. Um, yes, you did. Okay. Awesome. Great. All right, let's do the pup well, Henry! Let's do it. All right, tell me when to stop. All right. Stop. There you go. And it's going down, it's going down. Oh, hey, timer. Timer. Oh, timer. Congratulations. Let me timer. Very nice. Thanks. Keep in time. Oh. See you, Henry. All right. All right. Well, before we take our next caller, we're going to head out to one of our very own Baltimore County Public Schools and check in for a Mighty Math Minute. Mighty Yay! Math Minute! Woo! Hi, my name is Davidge, and this is your Mighty Math Minute. Mighty Math Minute! Today's problem is a word problem. Max eats a protein bar that has 230 calories in it for lunch every day for two weeks. How many calories does Max consume over the two-week period? First, we have to figure out how many days there are in two weeks because he ate a protein bar each day for two weeks. So I know that one week equals seven days. So... That would mean two weeks would equal seven times two. And I know that's 14. Max ate a protein bar for 14 days. Now we'll multiply the number of calories he consumed uh, by the number of days he ate the protein bar. So 230 times 14. 4 times 0 equals 0, 4 times 3, 12, and we carry the 1 here. 4 times 2 plus the 1 equals 9, and then we cross out these two numbers. But now we still have the 1 left, so we put a 0 down here, and now we can begin again. 1 times 0 equals 0, 1 times 3, 3, and 1 times 2, 2. These are our partial products. Now we have to add them. 0 plus 0 equals 0, 2 plus 0, 2, 9 plus 3, 2, and we carry the 1 on top. 1 plus 2, 3, and so that leaves us with our answer of 3,220 calories. So Max consumed 3,220 calories over the two-week period. Mighty Math Minute! That was one mighty minute. That was mighty, right? Absolutely. That was mighty. I felt that like was it was great. a mighty math minute. Mighty. Mighty. Hey, guys! I oh, hi! Hey! <laughs> I go to. Very cutting yeah. edge. It is. It is. They're doing it. What do you guys got on the board over there? All right. Well, 
we were talking about multiples. Oh, multiples. That's a yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. So, because we just did factors a little while ago. Yep. So we thought and we'd they kind of go together. They, Folders, they factors, kind of go together. Yeah. Hey, Max, yeah. that's a good look for you. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I feel man. Like look I at your face right now. <laughs> but there it is. <laughs> ah! I'm going to switch a song. number. You got me all thrown off with your dance moves. Pretty cool. They're revolutionary. Some would say cutting edge. Some would say. Not very Some, many people would say especially that. Especially from the 84 dance party. Ah, uh, yeah. 845, 80, sorry. All right. All right. So let's, let's talk multiples. Yeah, it was so a suburb of Cleveland, <laughs> by the way, where this was. When we find factors, we find the greatest common factor that two numbers have in, in common, multiples. right? But we're going to find multiples. Okay. So All we right. want to find the least common multiple. Mm. And multiples are like products, the answer to multiplication problems. So we skip count. Is that right? LCM? I, it is <gasps> LCM. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Lizards can't macarena. They can't really. They, they can't. can try. Have, it's you, hard. have you seen it? Huh? Have you seen it? That's what it stands for. Yeah. Have you yeah. seen lizards the lizards can't macarena? Oh. <laughs> they try. They can't. Okay. They're yeah, lizards. That's, oh. Jeez. that's true. I'm sorry. Sorry, right. Dolly. Who can see over the dashboard? Wait, so that is what it stands for, right? Y today it is. Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna list cool. some multiples. How about that? Okay. Do you know how to do that, Ollie? Huh? You know how to do that? Oh yeah. It depends on what that is. <laughs> But yeah. Say, say yes, it's just like skip counting. Okay, help me, ready? Yes, it's just like skips counting. Oh, Who skip? You are so smart. Who skip? Who skip? We don't talk about him anymore. Okay. Okay. All right, ready? Skip counted. We're going right. to skip count by threes. You ready? Right. Oh, you know what? I can skip and count. Okay. Awesome. All right, see. Two, three, 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 four, six, five, six, seven, nine. nine. I can gallop count, too. Well, you want to see it? 15, 18. 18. I'm going to stop here. All right. Good. Smart. So I was now, getting winded. I know. Ran out of board. Okay. So now I'm going to skip count by fours. Okay. Ready? Four, four. Eight. So, hey, wait a minute. What am I looking for? I don't, I don't know. The cookies? The, something in common. Oh. Something in common. All right. Ah. The uh, least common, common multiple. multiple. Lizards. Right. So four, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, 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 oh. I can stop. Question. I see something. You can. Oh. Yeah, what do you see? I see a common. I see 12 and 12. 3 and 4 both oh. have a common multiple. Okay. Okay. There you ah. go. LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. Okay. Good job. Great. You know what that reminds me of? What's a that? A new caller. All right. Yay. Are you ready? Do we have a new caller? We surely and do. And what is their name? Well, you tell me. I don't hey. know. Hello? Mr. Kara, who's Hello. on the phone? Who is on the phone? Right. Tell Hang us. Hang on. Give me a minute. It'll come to me. Who who is on the phone? I'm hearing a short vowel in my head. Short Hello. Vowel. I'm hearing one syllable short I vowel. Think I missed that because I was so. Hi. Tap. Tap. Cop. Yeah. Tap. Hi. 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 Tap. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Hi. What grade are we in, sweetie? I'm in the fifth. In the fifth grade. Nice. Okay. Where do you go to school? At BCPS TV Studios. Yep. So that's where we this. are right yep, now. That's where we are. Yep. Yeah. What school do you go to? I'm sorry. What, what school, school do you go to? Newtown Elementary. Okay. okay. Excellent. Nice. Awesome. What's your question for us? My question is a math question. I just want to know what is 56 minus 12, I mean, times 12 plus, um, minus 14? 56 times, times 12, 12 minus 14. Minus 14. Okay, well, there's a couple of different things going on here. Do you know what you would do first? Um, Four to multiply 50. Get a calculator. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Yes, so I'm going to multiply first. And we're going to go ahead and can we, fifth grade, right? Yeah. We can do long yeah. multiplication. 56 yeah. times okay. 12. All right, oh, man. what's 2 times 6? Two times six, that's 12. 12. Excellent. So I'm going to regroup my one. Regroup. And two times five. Ten. Plus Ten. one. One more. Um, plus one more. Eleven. Eleven. Yep. Eleven. Yep. Eleven. Okay. 
Okay, so I have to do something underneath this too. What do I have to do? Add. Add. I have, well, I have to do something first because I'm not done multiplying. So I multiplied my ones place. But now right? it's time for the tens, mm. right? Now it's yes. time for the tens place. So I have to annex this zero underneath the two. And one times six is? Six. Six. And one times five is? Five. Excellent. Five. Now. Now we get to add. I can add. So 2 plus 0 is? 2. 2. 1 plus 6? 7. And 1 plus 5? 6. Great. Excellent. So now we want to subtract 14? Yes. Okay. So we have 6, 172, minus 14. Well, I can't take 4 from 2, can I? No. No. So what do I have to do? You have to carry one. I do. I have to regroup. So that 7 is going to become a 6. And yes. this 2 is going to become a 12 because I took one from the tens place. So it's now 12. Yes. 12. Awesome. 12 minus 4 is? 8. So 6. 6, six minus <laughs> 1? Um, 5. 5. 5. Excellent. And I just bring my 6 down because it's 6 minus 0. And your answer Boom, is there you go. 658. 658. Yeah. What were we counting, by the way? That was a lot. Oh, well, you know what we should do? What should we do? What? what if we had this problem? What are we counting? Can we count puddings and pies? Puddings and pies. For our friend Georgie? What if we change why, why this? Not? Okay. Yeah. Can you remember those? Okay. Oh. All right. So, Let's okay. do the Bucks Away to Prize Ball. We we got yeah. Wait, oh, what? What's the time for? What? Okay, so you got you got to tell me when to go. Prize wall, um, prize wall. Puck to pick a prize go. wall. Puck this is what prize. coordination Ready. looks like. Tell her when to go. stop. I think there you go. Stopped. A four, four color, color pen. pen. Woohoo! I love yeah. it. I want one of those. That was awesome. Did that help? Yes, thank All you. All right. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Man, when we are on, we are on. We are right? on. Right? And guess what? Huh? We're almost going to be off. Because, oh, man. Yeah. I love this place. Yeah. Well, so sad. Yeah. Well, kids, that's all that we have time for mm -hmm. this week. We want to thank you for all, thank you all for tuning in. Yep. And remember, we do re-air each episode, so be sure to watch. We look I will. forward to seeing you next time. Only, Only here on DCPS TV. Yay! Bye! Bye.